Hello again and welcome back to the card mat. Um, very nice little one. And it is a little one, it doesn't go on for too long. You can make of it whatever you will. But we'll start by giving the cards a bit of a shuffle. Because we want this to be fair, do we not? Well, obviously we do. We always want things to be fair. Don't always turn out that way, but we always want them to be fair. So we're giving the packer a nice couple of shuffles. At this point, I would turn my back. We'll just put that to one side for a minute because we don't need that just yet. At this point, I would turn my back and if you wanted to, you could give the packet a cotton in case you think I've done something. You could give it another cotton again if you think I've done something. And you can give it another cotton again just in case you think you have done something. Right, now again, still with my back turned, you can cut the packet once more if you like. So you'll cut the packet about there. I would now invite you to take the top three cards. Again, my back is turned. I cannot see none of this. You take the top three cards. Um, at this point, you would be looking at these cards. I am not going to look at them because obviously it is a kind of mind reading effect. So you've got three cards. Um, I've got a die. We'll give it a low number and a high number. So it'll be a one or a four, a two or a five, a three or a six. Right? Fair? Fair. A three. One and four, two and five, three and six. So you've gone and picked this last card. Now, obviously, I do not want to see this one. So I'm just going to turn around and show you the card for a couple of seconds. So I've turned around and there's the card. Remember it, obviously. And we'll put your card back down. Right, so at this point, I've no idea what your card is, right? These two, it doesn't really matter now if I see these. King of Diamonds, Three of Clubs. What you would do, again, while my back is turned... I would not see these. While my back is turned, I want you to say what each card is. But when you come to your card, lie. Yeah, don't tell me what your card is. Lie about it. But tell me what the other two are. Perfect. And I'll tell by the tone of your voice which card is your chosen card. Yeah. So you'd go King of Diamonds, Three of Clubs, Um. Seven of Spades. I don't know, do I? But you wouldn't say it with a break, obviously. Um, so, from that, I can tell the, the Seven of Spades is not supposed to be there. Right? This is, again, still with my back turned. I've seen none of this. I know the Seven of Spades is the wrong card. Um, the lying card. Um, now I want you to think about your card. Here comes the mind reading part. Think of your card very, very hard. It's red. It's a heart. It's the six of hearts was your card. And just like that. And there you go. Told you it was pretty quick. It doesn't come across very well without a spectator. It doesn't. But basically, basically, all you need is your deck set in any kind of setup you like. Any mnemonic setup where you know which card's following which card. Mine's just set up in Stice, Stice Ebbins. That's all mine's set up in. Couple of false shuffles. I started off, I done two reverse pharaohs, if you know what I mean, stripped out every other card, and then I was able to do two pharaohs. You do not have to start like that. All the way through it, never show your pack. Well, you can do if you, you're in this kind of an order, your proper size stebbins, as long as you don't get too much of a look at it. But once you start stripping out, you can't, because your first strip out puts all your blacks together and all your reds together. Your second strip out will give you a half, a quarter of your reds, quarter of your blacks, quarter of your reds, quarter of your blacks. No, half of your blacks. 
Ah, few reds, half few blacks, half few reds, half few blacks. You know what I mean? They're being big chunks. So you can't show if you're starting off with a pharaoh or two. So you have your deck set in an order, a couple of false shuffles, turn your back, get your spectator to cut the packet anywhere they like, and take the top three cards. They then think of any one of them cards, they'll go for the Queen of Hearts, and they'll go through the cards saying, six of diamonds, nine of clubs, two of spades. You're listening out for your setup order. I know it's um, Cy Stebbins. I've heard a diamond and a club. Um, yeah, I've heard a diamond and a club and a spade. Now, I know in, in the Cy Stebbins order that after a diamond comes a club. After a club comes a heart. So I've heard a spade after a club, so I know the spade is the wrong one. If they'd picked there, I'd hear a diamond, I'd say, hear a heart, and I'd hear a heart. Well, I know that a heart does not come after a diamond, and a heart does not come before a heart, or after a heart, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'd know that the heart in the middle would be the wrong one, because it broke up my order. You'd work that out yourself, the only way, the only other permutations of it there's only if they pick that one that one or that one if they pick that one them two are going to be in a run if they pick that one them two are going to be in a run if none of them are in a run it's the middle one and then you know what card is the one they were lying about and because of your order and you know which card is missing you know what card it actually is very simple isn't it very simple and there you go I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.